Saudi Arabia just revealed a shockingly wild design for a new city called The Line. With this design, they aim to consolidate an entire city and stack it over 500 meters high, which is taller than the Empire State Building. This skyscraper city will be over 200 meters wide and will stretch out over 170 kilometers in length. And all of this infrastructure will be housed within a mirrored glass wall. The line aims to eventually be the home of over 9 million residents who will live within the suburbs of the city. Now this is where things get really crazy. Each suburb is a segment along the line that is organized in three dimensions. Because of this third dimension depth, everything that you need in your daily life, whether it's your school, your work, or your home, are all within the line's five minute walk neighborhoods. And if residents need to travel from one end of the city to the other for any reason, they can do so in as little as 20 minutes using the line's high speed rail system, which completely eliminates the need for cars. And due to the lack of cars and their sustainable design, the line will have zero carbon emissions and their energy resources will be 100% renewable. This will make the line one of the most environmentally friendly cities that we have seen in a long time. In an effort to make the line as accessible as possible, it's been strategically placed so that the city can be accessed by 40% of the world in as little as a six hour flight. It also sits in between the ocean and the mountains, giving residents easy access to beautiful nature. This project currently has no release date, but it is a part of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 program. Now, this all sounds cool and super techy or whatever, but I do have a few comments and concerns. Now, when countries or companies embark on any kind of mega project, I always ask myself one question, and that is what problem are they trying to solve? Now, I can see that they're trying to build more sustainable living and give walkable communities to the residents. And both of those are admirable goals, but at the root of this project, they are building a space for humans to live in. And I keep wondering, are there even 9 million people who want to live in a city like this? I mean, they would all have to collectively agree to move to some city in the middle of the world and start a brand new life all at the same time. And this doesn't just mean moving and setting up a new home. It also means moving entire businesses and industries because the city is going to need some sort of infrastructure. They will need healthcare. They will need businesses, products, services, etc. And I believe that this is the problem that will stop the line from ever becoming a reality because communities are built out over time and there's no way that Saudi Arabia will be able to account for all of the wants and needs of their residents before they even move into the new city. And along with these economical and societal issues, is nobody going to talk about the potential health risks? I mean, are we just going to act like we didn't just go through a pandemic that wiped out millions of people? If a virus like COVID-19 made its way into the line, there would be no way to contain it or eradicate it. All of the poor souls who moved to this city would be wiped out and Saudi Arabia would be left with a failed city and a big mess to clean up. I honestly don't see this as anything more than a PR stunt for Saudi Arabia just to flex their wealth and scientific advances. I mean, the line sounds kind of cool in theory, but it's never going to happen. So that's essentially what you need to know about the line. And if you guys like videos like this about technology, crypto, NFTs, and more, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we're going to be posting videos like this every single week. And with that being said, guys, I'm Brody from Entra, the Web3 Professional Network, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.